What's up guys, RR Horror Hunter, aka Steve, back at you yet again with another video. Well, guys, I gotta say, as you can probably tell by the title, this is just gonna be a vlog. Um, vlog, whatever you wanna call it. You know, I'm snowed in. Literally snowed in. Uh, this is probably the most snow I've ever seen in the state of Kentucky in my entire life. I'm bored. I'm going to make a vlog, guys. I'm going to make a vlog, and it's going to be a good vlog. It's going to be a fun vlog. I'm going to travel around the room. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be fun for me, and I hope it's fun for you guys as well. So, to start us off, hold on just a moment. A nice, delicious L81. We just call it L8 here in uh, Kentucky. And we're huge fans of this stuff. A lot of people call it Kentucky Swamp Water because some people from outside of Kentucky can't stand it. Uh, but then again, they're idiots. No offense to anybody outside of Kentucky, but if you drink this and think that it's uh, Kentucky Swamp Water, Kentucky River Water, Kentucky Creek Water, whatever you want to call it, it's probably a fact that you need to go to a mental institution. You know, you're a little delusional. Uh, let me explain to you what the deliciousness of L81 is. L8 is ginger ale on steroids. It's like ginger ale but sweeter. It doesn't have that bitter taste. It'll never, you know, give you that, uh, bad aftertaste that you always get with ginger ale. This is a blend of secret spices and other crap. I don't know. Um, actually, it tells the story on the back here, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't know what's in it. Nobody knows what's in it, but it's a secret blend of spices. Uh, but whatever it is, whatever's in it, it's good. I guarantee you it's got gluten in it because, well, anything that tastes delicious is got gluten in it. <sighs> I bet you it's got that uh, gym mat stuff that uh, they found in the um, uh, subway bread. Yeah, I'll guarantee you they've got that in this. I don't know why they have it in this, but that gym mat material is probably in this. And I don't care. Look at the book behind me, guys. The book. Yeah, that's right. My name is r, &R Horror Hunter on YouTube here. I am a hunter. I kill things. I eat them. I mount them. In only one way, not not other ways. Uh, only this way. I only mount them that way. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hunting. It's a pretty uh, important part of life. Hunting goes beyond just killing animals. And, uh, first of all, if you think that the killing of animals is an immoral thing, that's your thing. But, then again, you don't get to eat ice cream either. So, all, all I'm saying is there might be a little something wrong with you. I don't know. But, hey, late one, guys. But, Hunting goes past killing animals. To be a film collector, to collect a crap ton of movies on DVD and VHS and Blu-ray, thou must be a hunter. You can't simply go on Amazon and look for everything. You've got to go out to the flea markets of the world, the Hastings of the world. You have to dive into the dump bins of the Walmarts of the world you will eventually pass into a wonderful land known as Nerdvana. Weird music playing now. If, you know, if this was a movie, weird music would play, you know, chimes. Except I couldn't do a chime sound. I don't know. But, you will eventually pass into Nerdvana once you have collected at least 100 films. And then, you are truly addicted. You go more. You get 200 in a month. 
N not really, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, movie collecting, it's hunting. Uh, what is music collecting? Hunting. Everything that man does that is pleasurable. Chasing after women, it's hunting, ladies and gentlemen. Hunting is an essential part of life and always will be. Murica. Yep. Blogging. Blogging, guys. Randomness. Beautiful randomness. You know what, guys? Watched the Oscars last night, and uh, I'm going to be totally honest. I was, uh, I was disappointed. Let me adjust this here. But I was disappointed, guys. Uh, why am I disappointed? Wolf of Wall Street... I don't even think it won anything. I think it won absolutely nothing. And, um, you know, I saw Wolf of Wall Street uh, in 2013 when it came out in late December. It came around, it came out around my birthday, actually. But that's beside the point. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> that was a weak one. It needs to be more from the diaphragm and less just from the throat. It's like singing, guys. Burping is like singing. But, anyway, I can't do this like B. Jr. over at uh, um, B. Jr.'s Movie Cave on the Endurance Productions YouTube channel. By the way, check out his Saturday night vlogs. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I'm not a beer drinker like he is, but L.A.'s pretty fizzy and good enough, so. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oscars. I was disappointed because Wolf of Wall Street didn't win anything. Now, I saw Wolf of Wall Street, and, you know, the thing about it was I knew it probably wouldn't win any Oscars, but I really wanted it to. It was very entertaining. Yes, it did have a lot of lewdness, extreme lewdness, lots of drugs, lots of, lots of sex. You would never go more than five minutes without seeing boobs or butts. But what can I say? It was a bit entertaining, and it's not because of all the nudity or the drugs. It was entertaining because of the good acting, because of the good direction by Martin Scorsese. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio needs to win an Oscar. He needs to win his Oscar for uh, best, uh, best Actor, you know? And uh, Martin Scorsese needs to win for Best Director. He should have. Uh, Jonah Hill... Probably should have won for uh, um, Best Supporting Actor. You know? What can I say? I mean, I'm not a big Jonah Hill fan, but, I mean, he did well in the movie. Uh, despite the fact that we saw his penis. Or his false penis, whatever it was. But, yeah, there's a spoiler alert there. Uh, if you want to go see Jonah Hill uh, getting, it na getting naked, uh, you, you gotta go see... <laughs> you gotta go see Wolf of Wall Street, guys. But, it's just, yeah, the movie was very immoral. I didn't like that about it. Uh, there was no really uplifting message about it or anything. But, the up the part about it not being uplifting may be the reason why I liked it so much. Because, you know, all these other Oscar nominees, uh, all that other stuff, it's either something really depressing or it's really, really uplifting. It'll make you cry how uplifting it is. Like 12 Years a Slave. I didn't see it. I'll, I'll give it that. I didn't see it. Hold on. Uh, oh, very tiny. Very, very tiny one. Very bad. 2.0 on the Richter scale, ladies and gentlemen. But the Oscars were just... I mean, like, 12 Years a Slave per, was pretty much guaranteed to win. Uh, I'm not going to go into any kind of political stuff, any kind of uh, Hollywood politics through the back door kind of stuff, but let's just say I think it was pretty much guaranteed to win because of the subject matter. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen too many slave movies. The, the genre is worn out, in my opinion. I want to get a horror movie to go to the Oscars. I want to see that. I, I know a ton of you guys think that we need to have a horror movie go to the Oscars and sleep. We need another Silence of the Lambs. That's what us as a genre need. But it needs to be more horror than Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs was part horror, part drama. 
We need less drama in the Oscars. That's what we need. We need more horror. And if we don't get horror in the genre, in, in the, uh, in the Oscars, I guarantee you all horror fans are just gonna, 100%, just stop watching the Oscars. Eventually. That's going to happen. If they keep ousting the horror film from their, whatever it is, it's a click, really. Excuse me. But, uh, it's really, really just a click. Of a bunch of douchebags who want to praise each other. What can I say? But one wonderful thing did happen last night at the Oscars. Not at the Oscars, but about the Oscars, actually. And that was the Sausage Factories, um, which, by the way, is my favorite uh, internet show, whatever. Uh, they're fantastic. It's just a bunch of dudes who sit around and talk about movies. They sat around, they watched the Oscars, I watched the Oscars as well, just to make sure that I knew what was happening, but as they were watching the Oscars, they would comment on it, it was essentially a roast, uh, they would talk about other random stuff, just thrown in there, fantastic episode of the Sausage Factory, over four hours long, I think it was actually somewhere around five hours, is where they, uh, clocked in, but really, really cool stuff. Um, and I definitely praise those guys for doing what they do because they are a fantastic show. And, uh, if I ever get a collab channel, I would definitely like to do something like they're doing. Uh, I don't know how to do, um, Google Hangouts, but, you know, just multiple video, uh, um, multiple video, uh, collab channels are interesting as well, but I'd like to try out the, uh, Google Hangouts thing as well. I'm not sure how to do it, but I'll figure it out eventually. And uh, I hope that I eventually get to do that here on YouTube. That's one of my ambitions here. So uh, there's that. There's a shout out to the Sausage Factory. Fantastic people. Uh, so cool to be a fan of them. Even just to be a fan is so cool with the Sausage Factory. Rock on, Sausage Factory Nation. I know Chris Brock, you're a member of Sausage Factory Nation. Don't know if you watched it last night, but anyway. But yeah, go over to the Sausage Factory YouTube channel, sub those guys immediately. They're fantastic. Uh, wh while I'm shouting out the Sausage Factory, I may as well shout out uh, some other guys. Uh, people who recently subscribed to me and stuff like that. Well, uh, let's see. Or people that I just love as YouTubers. They're just so awesome. Nate Murphy, for one. The dude is seriously cool. He can do these really, really good rants. He's one of my favorite ranters. Um, yeah, he's just, he's awesome. Uh, he loves the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Definitely talk to him about TCM sometime. The entire series he actually likes. Uh, which is something that I can't say I'm a huge fan of. I, I think it's about on par with Children of the Corn when it comes to a series, but, you know. Anyway, he's, uh, he's very knowledgeable, uh, I think, and very, very interesting as a YouTuber. Does some great stuff. Uh, next, Chris Brock. I mean, Chris Brock's awesome. I've cultured a friendship with him uh, very recently. Uh, one of my newest buddies on YouTube. Uh, cool, cool guy. Really, really fantastic videos. Um, always keep stuff, keep stuff short and sweet, which is something that I, I just can't do. Um, but he always keeps stuff short and sweet, and that's one thing that I like to, like about him. Uh, we, we have a lot of the same tastes in movies. Um, yeah, he's really cool. Uh, of course, Andrew Bow and I don't even have to mention how awesome he is, but he is getting into, uh, hard rock and heavy metal music. So if you're a fan of hard rock or heavy metal, definitely go over to Andrew's uh, channel and sub him. Uh, talk to him about hard rock and heavy metal. He's definitely uh, a fan rising who will probably uh, eventually eclipse most of us fans. I can't say I can't say for sure if he'll eclipse me, but I don't know. But the guy's awesome. Definitely go sub him. Uh, I mean, all the guys over at the Sausage Factory sub them. Uh, just go to Sausage Factory YouTube channel. Uh, it's one the Sausage Factory, and just 
you know, sub to them and then sub to all the people who are on the side. It should show uh, who's a member of that collab channel. Fantastic stuff. Um, I want to shout out, um, let's see, Mr. Film Jack. Mr. Film Jack's pretty cool. Awesome guy. Definitely try and sub to him. Uh, does some really good movie reviews. Let's see. Uh, Be Kind Rewind. He, uh, it's a new channel. I'm, I'm not sure what the guy's name is, but um, it's called Be Kind Rewind, and it's just a... Uh, um, it's a YouTube channel all about movies, of course. Uh, he's got like two videos up, but he's got um, a good amount of subscribers. And he's also got a good amount of views on his videos, uh, but definitely go over and um, sub him, support his channel. It's really, really fun uh, to see him. Just the two videos already, I can tell he's going to have some fantastic stuff up. Um, so there you go. Uh, if there's anybody who I'm leaving out, please... Um, Please forgive me. I want to shout out all my subscribers, if I possibly can. And uh, I just can't remember all of them. Uh, I've got more than a few. I've got a hundred something, but whatever. You guys rock. Rock on forever, dudes. Um, what else can I say, man? Oh, this is my 100th video. This is my 100th video. And, uh, man, I feel like I should do a contest sometime soon. Uh, and I, I guarantee you, I know what I'm going to use for my contest uh, prize. But, you know, I'm definitely going to use uh, a certain thing as a prize. Um, it should, it, I'll give you a hint, it involves Horror Fanatic 78. Uh, there's a shout out. Shout out to Horror Fanatic 78. Shout out to Luna Meow. Uh, shout out to uh, Sunshine Girl. They're all fantastic YouTubers as well. Definitely go try and sub them. They are so cool. So, so cool. Uh, what else can I say, guys? I mean, I'm going to eventually do a um, do some kind of a contest. I don't know what I'll do for it. Uh, I know what the prize is going to be. I've got the prize up there. I've only watched it a few times. Uh, it's a fantastic movie, but it's also uh, a fantastic addition. And I do really enjoy it every time that I've watched it, but, you know, I feel like I need to give back to the community eventually. Uh, and that uh, that uh, contest will probably end up being um, whenever I uh, reach 150 subscribers. Once I get 150 s subscribers plus, guys, I guarantee you I'm going to do a contest. Live, well, not really live, but recorded right now. On the R and R Horror Hunter YouTube channel, Steve says he's going to give back to the community with 150 subscribers. So get your buddies, tell them this is an awesome channel because you better believe it is, and sub it. Get them to sub, and then I'll start giving back to the community, as I always should. Um, so I don't know what else to say about uh, this vlog. I don't know what else to do. I've way past 18 minutes. I'm a little bit to over uh, 18 and a half minutes, if you can look down at your timer. But allow me to uh, get rid of the rest of this L8. Hold on. And then I'll say goodbye. Oh, man. That stuff's delicious. Definitely try and check out L8 sometime, guys. You can order it off their website to your house, dudes. Awesome stuff. Well, I'm past the 19-minute mark. Uh, I'm just going to stop here. Rock on, guys. If you like, subscribe. See y'all later. Uh, give me some feedback on these vlogs, man. I haven't done more than a few, but, you know, I still want to get some uh, feedback on them because... I really like doing them. I don't know if you guys like them or not. I'd just like to see some feedback. So rock on if you like, subscribe. See y'all later. Thanks for watching and sticking through this 19 and a half minute video, guys. Bye.